All right, so for this equation, I have x minus 4 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8. So obviously, the variable we're solving for is x. And the first step to solving this equation is to add 8 on both sides. So if I add 8 on both sides, I get x minus 4 to the power of 3 plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So I get x minus 4 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. And the reason I did this is because now we have a cube plus another cube. And this means that we can use the property a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is x minus 4 and b is 2. So I get x minus 4 plus 2 times x minus 4 squared minus x minus 4 times 2 plus 2 squared. And this is equal to 0. All right, so now from here, if I simplify this, I get x minus 2 times x squared minus ax plus 16 minus, I can distribute the 2, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And I have this plus 4. Now if I distribute the negative sign over here, I get x minus 2 times x squared minus ax plus 16 minus 2x plus 8 plus 4 is equal to 0. And this turns into x minus 2 times x squared minus 10x plus 28 is equal to 0. Now, from here, this is going to give me two equations. I get x minus 2 is equal to 0, and I also get x squared minus 10x plus 28 is equal to 0. So, for x minus 2 equals 0, what I can do is add 2 on both sides, so then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to positive 2. So this is one solution. And for x squared minus 10x plus 28 is equal to 0, what I can do to solve this is use the quadratic formula because this is a quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 10, and c is 28. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 10 plus or minus the square root of negative 10 squared, which is 100, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 28, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 112 over 2, which is equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 112 is negative 12 over 2. Now the square root of negative 12 is equal to the square root of 12 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So now I get x is equal to 10 plus or minus the square root of 12 i over 2. And we can actually simplify the square root of 12. The square root of 12 is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And the square root of 4 is 2, so I get 2 root 3, meaning this is equal to 10 plus or minus 2 root 3 i over 2. Now, 10 divided by 2 is 5, plus or minus, these two cancels out, so square root of 3 i. Now, from here, my three solutions are 
2 5 plus the square root of 3i and 5 minus the square root of 3i. So because we have two imaginary solutions, we can't actually plug them in. We can't plug these two in and check them into our original equation, but we can check 2. So going back to our original equation, I have x minus 4 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8. So x, let me write this here, x minus 4 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8, and we got that x is equal to 2. So if I plug in 2, I get 2 minus 4 to the power of 3 <coughs> is equal to negative 8. Now, 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 2. So I get negative 2 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 8. And a negative number to the power of 3, or to the power of any odd number, is going to still be negative. So negative 2 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So I get negative 8 is equal to negative 8. And this is right.